Hey guys, what's going on? It's Ash here coming at you today in Clash of Clans. How you guys doing? The faithful COC subscribers who have stuck with me even though I have admittedly neglected you guys in the last couple weeks. No excuses there at all, but I've been traveling every single week flying to the other side of the country uh, to LA for a million dollar Clash Royale tournament that I'm helping to host. So with that schedule and Brawl Stars being released, I just don't have time to play three games as much as I'd like to. I still play Clash of Clans, but just covering it is a challenge. However, I'm never going to stop completely covering it. Hopefully you guys can bear with me and hang in uh, hang in there for more videos. And in the meantime, just uh, enjoy the videos, hopefully, when I do put them out. So anyway, that is what we got going on uh, as far as outside boring stuff goes. As far as in-game goes, I actually have been pretty active. Uh, thank you, King Slayer. Long, long, long time member of our clan. Thank you, killer. I'm still gonna thank people. Uh, even though I'm on, I'm recording. Okay, so what we want to talk about today is Super Queen. I think that Super Queen or Queen Walk farming is still the go-to, still the best heavy farming composition in the game for Town Hall 9, 10, and 11. Uh, of course, differences at each Town Hall level, but what you're going to want to do, because it is a heavy farming composition, you're going to want to be farming high up in leagues, as high up as you're comfortable with, uh, and, you know, going for as much loot as possible and benefiting from that league bonus. So I am in, I'm right around uh, 30, uh, 4,300, jeez, can I talk? 4,400 trophies right now in Titan 2. That's where I like kind of chilling. You can see a really good loot bonus of 3 300, 300, 2,000. What? These league bonuses. I remember when there were no league bonuses. Who else Who else out there remembers when there wasn't even... League bonuses wasn't even a thing. So I'm glad we have that. I think they gave us league bonuses when they took away Town Hall sniping, if I remember correctly. But anyway, I'll take that trade all day. That's looking really, really good. So what I want to do is farm. So let's go ahead and do it. So this is the army composition I'm using right now. I have all my Dark Elixir upgrades totally maxed, so I have no reason, no need for Dark Elixir. Super Queen is traditionally a Dark Elixir farming strategy, and you can combo it with P.E.K.K.A.s or with cheaper troops if you so choose to do so. <laughs> Sorry guys, kind of like scatterbrain today, I guess. Uh, so. This is the army I'm using though. It's the elixir mitigating strategy and gold farming strategy here. So it's all dependent on what resource you're after. So what we're gonna do is use this strategy. You can see I have four earthquakes instead of jump spells. Again, trying to mitigate the amount of elixir we're using on this army. So let's do this. We are ready to go. I'm not gonna take away my rage because I really like rage on Super Queen. I mean, Super Queen and rage go hand in hand together perfectly. And, uh, oh, by the way, max healers. What up? Really excited about that. So, okay, we are ready to go here. By the way, if you're curious about the P.E.K.K.A. comp, you can see my raids here uh, the last couple days. Uh, some good ones, some flops. But either way, down here is the P.E.K.K.A. army with three P.E.K.K.A.s, uh, a couple baby dragons to help establish and uh, and maintain the funnel. And, of course, wall breakers. A fifth healer when I, when I farm for Dark Elixir, just so I have that extra... Uh, healer if there's air traps or whatever around along the outside of the base but anyway let's go ahead and do this it is gonna be a let's farm episode so how are you guys enjoying the game I actually have a another video planned for about a week from now talking about the builder base and well I don't want to give any spoilers but it's going to be uh, it's gonna be a real uh, hmm it's going to be a real confessional, confessional episode on Builder Base. So uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy that and stay tuned for that as well. But uh, farming is something that we always do in Clash of Clans because they're always adding more stuff. I have one Inferno Tower upgrading right now. I need to do all my cannons still. I need to upgrade my miners. I need to upgrade my P.E.K.K.A. I need to upgrade my clone, my freeze, my wall breakers. There's a lot to get done. And look at this! This is a tasty raid, boys and girls. Let's go after it here. So, the resources, first of all, it's not totally upgraded, which is great. The resources seem to be almost all in the actual storages, so we're going to be tackling the storages. And, of course, there's two, they're, they're pretty well spread out. So, basically, 
there's not a perfect location to enter this base from. So what I'm going to do is try to get as much uh, <clears throat> as much earthquake value as possible. So let's start the queen walk from around right over here. Gonna put her out of harm's way, uh, meaning out of expo range, essentially. Uh, this is the number one thing you wanna look for when entering the base is, I'm not a huge fan of starting the queen walk uh, right on top of the expo. And if you think you might be using your queen's uh, uh, cloak ability during the walk, you don't wanna really use the Grand Warden because the healers will shift to the Grand Warden or switch to the Grand Warden halfway through the walk as soon as you use that ability. And and that things just go downhill from there. So I could have cut down this uh, gold mine. Okay, forget it. Don't even need to. She's walking in the right direction, guys. So we're going to go ahead and start with our golem portion over here. Queen walk is going great. Where are my very, very slow on my uh, my wizards over there? But that's okay. We are going to get a... Uh, there's no splash damage, so I should be able to break a hole right into here. This is great here. This is perfect. So we're going to send in these bowlers over here along with the giants to tank in front. The queen is doing great. Let's send in the earthquake and the last bowler. Queen is now inside, keeping an eye, of course, on my queen's health. Let's use our first rage spell, and we're going to use a rage on the queen there just to make sure she stays alive while I'm not paying attention. We're going to pop the Grand Warden ability, and we're going to rage inside the core of the base, and here come the Valkyries. Want to make sure the Valkyries go where they want, where we want them to go, excuse me. That was a bad, I'm not sure if you guys caught that uh, poison spell. Totally should have used it on the queen there, not on the uh, the skeletons. So we're going to pop our queen ability, and things kind of fizzled out there. A little bit late on those Valkyries. They're still alive, though. You can actually add, take away one rage and add a heal if you want to, to avoid having a dilemma like I did there. So if I was a little bit earlier, or a lot a bit earlier on those Valkyries, this would have been an easy three-star. But you can see I have goblins for the uh, perimeter uh storages and whatnot and I still was able to get most of the loot here let's see if we can safely place this archer way up here pick along the side there uh, we only have the king and the grand warden alive along with a few bowlers I don't think it's gonna be enough to pull off the three star but uh, yeah whatever I'll take it definitely got most of the loot which is the most important thing of course and 30 seconds I don't think we're gonna get it but look at this that's why I love bringing in the uh, the goblins guys Take a few goblins into whatever army you're using, whatever composition you're using, because they're just going to run by whatever's tanking for you at the time, get all those resources. So that was pretty sweet. I should have dropped my minion now, but we'll wait till he locks that Archer Tower locks onto the Grand Warden. And could we pull this off, guys? Oh, that air mine! No! Come on, Grand Warden. Yes, yes. Oh, what am I missing? Oh, where was the... Did I get it? No. Where was the... Where, what did I miss? Oh, that Builder Hut had like 1 HP left on it. Okay, it doesn't really matter. We got the 100% of the loot, and we got 100% of the loot bonus. So let's go ahead and do what we do best here at CWA Mobile Gaming. You like the new name, by the way, guys? I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I miss Ash, but I needed to kind of rebrand as not just Clash with Ash, you know? So whatever. Uh, anyway, we're going to do what we do best, which is, you guys guessed it, gemming. So of course, I've got to even train an army. That might help, guys, but... Uh, We'll gem up, so our army is ready. We'll gem our request, should've done that first. Get another golem in there, and we'll heal up our heroes. And we are ready to go. Kingslayer hooking me up again. Thank you, bro bot. Uh, inside, inside joke, inside joke. We're not that douchey. <laughs> okay, thanks. thank you, bro bot. All right, cool. So we are ready to go again. Look at that. Oh, the power of gemming. Let's do it. So this time I actually have my resources going, uh, so that's a good thing. And what we're saving up for right now, again, is upgrading. I really want to max out my P.E.K.K.A. I think that the P.E.K.K.A. has potential in the current meta, so I want to max out P.E.K.K.A. right now, so I need basically max elixir storages. So that's going to be my goal right now. And of course, I'll probably do an Inferno Tower, the other Inferno Tower uh, on defense. So let's go ahead and skip and see what we can find. I'm curious if you guys, how many skips you average per farming raid. I would say I've only averaged maybe like five, four or five. You know, you see, I mean, up here, the loot is pretty good. That's why if you're going to be using a heavy composition, that's why I totally uh, <clears throat> stand by that point I made earlier where it's, it just really, really behooves you to farm high. 
Uh, get that big bonus of that league, man. All right. So, oh, another dead base. Oh, my God. Loot has been crazy lately. And look at this base, man. It's just ripe for the picking. Uh, one single shot Inferno, one multi Inferno. It looks like this is actually not a dead base. It looks like it's an active base. All the storages seem to be pretty full. Uh, and gold storages, I don't know. They're pretty well spread out here. I think I'm gonna come in th uh, from the single target. I don't think I'm gonna be able to three comp, a uh, three star this base with this comp. This is actually a rare base that Queen Walk doesn't necessarily do that great against. So. This should get her walking in the right direction. She should go to the, uh, oh, I stand corrected. See, it even happens to me, guys. <laughs> the queen walking in the opposite direction that you planned. So she's gonna go this way, so we're just gonna adjust with her here. So obviously, it's not that big of a deal. And instead of letting her walk the whole way, okay, I take that back. We're just gonna break open right over here. Send in the golem, because we'll need some help for this queen. We're actually going to have to uh, rage right here against that double cannon. Now here comes the team here. We're just gonna send everybody in. This is gonna be a spammy, spammy attack. Uh, should of course used the, uh, should have used the, whatchamacallit first. Uh, okay, so that was really bad. I'm gonna tell you why that was a really bad play by me. Send in the giants first, of course, right? And then, you want to send in the Valkyries last that way because they run ahead the fastest, right? So it was a bad decision to send in the Valkyries first. That way I can I could not get them in the Eternal Tome ability. So do as I say, not as I do. So basically what we did was, I, I'm sure you kind of caught it there, but we burned our abilities really quickly. Ooh, just barely missed that ability. Or barely got that ability, I should say, on the Queen. So we burned our abilities really quickly after that, and we used all our rage and in, in the uh, the King's Iron Fist ability. Basically, the reason we did that was kind of an oh crap moment. Like I kind of screwed up there, uh, and I wanted to get as much as as much bang as I possibly could left in the base after I had screwed up. So this gold mine is actually still accessible by that minion. So hey, we still got most of the loot, and it was a lot of loot. So I'm still happy with the raid, and hey. We all have raids like this. Unfortunately, some of them are on YouTube for millions. Okay, that was being a little, uh, <laughs> that was being a little generous to myself with how many people are gonna watch this video. Okay, hundreds, there we go. So, not too bad, 447K gold plus the bonus. Didn't get the full bonus. That was kind of a bummer of a raid, to be honest with you guys. Uh, so let's make up for it with a third raid and let's train and let's finish and let's finish. My clan mates are going to be like, dude, another golem? What the heck are you doing? All right. All right. So, let's go ahead and heal up everybody. We'll wait for our golem. And we'll be ready to go. Maybe I'll try one. Nah. I was going to say, maybe I'll try one P.E.K.K.A. raid, but I'm too lazy to go and uh, mess with my army now. So yeah, we're, we're waiting on this. We want the $10 million Inferno Tower upgrade. And in our lab here, okay, we got our golem. As I said, guys, I need to really upgrade everything. Miners too, I forget, to, oh, wizards, I forgot to mention. So yeah, we got a lot of work to do. We're gonna need a lot of elixir. Okay, thank you, QM. And let's feed him the rest of his bowlers here and his poison, and now we're ready to go. All right, let's make this raid count, guys. <clears throat> yeah, that last time, I'm like, why did I do that? It's just something that you do when you're recording and you're an idiot, like me. <laughs> so basically, uh, that was a lot of elixir. I maybe should have gone after that, but it's all right. Uh, but yeah, the Valkyries go last, not first. They're not your tanks, Ash. But hey, learn from my mistakes, guys. You guys learn from my mistakes and we'll be all right. So didn't really like that base, not enough loot. I, I, I like to kind of set minimums. Uh, and right now, I really like walking away with a million total resources, including the bonus. That's like the bare minimum, because we already have 600,000. So we need like 200,000 at least of both of the resources, ideally like closer to 400,000, hitting like that million and a half uh, number. So we could bully a Town Hall 10 here, make me feel better about the video, but we're not gonna do it. <laughs> we're just gonna go ahead and look for a good base. Look for a good base. Okay, uh, well, this isn't bad, I can tell you that much. And we have a pretty good army for it. Eh, let's hit it. 
whatever. I'm not going to wait, make you guys wait around too long. <clears throat> so we have the double cannon over here. Want to be aware of that. We have some air defenses along the perimeter, but they're not going to really frustrate anything for us. Uh, let's go into a, a relatively safe area again. Now, the thing with this strategy is we only have four earthquakes. So we don't have what we normally have is uh, two jumps where we could spread those out and then use the wall breakers and kind of enter in that way. So we're going to come in from the south here. And we're just going to let the queen go for a while. We don't anticipate having to use her ability here. No expos anywhere near range. So we are going to back her up with a Grand Warden, help move things along quicker, and of course give her more HP. Now this Barbarian King is probably going to engage us. He is. So I am going to poison him right now so I don't have to use a Rage. So I won't have poison for the Clan Castle or the Queen here. So that could proved to be a mistake, but only time will tell, my friends. Okay, so the queen is going in. Let's send in the uh, the golem over here. <clears throat> and then send in wall breakers, send in some giants. I could have actually sent in those giants uh, with the queen, but it's okay. So what am I trying to do right now? I am trying to establish a nice big funnel for my Valks. So here it comes the Earthquake, and here comes my first Rage Spell. I'm hoping that Queen lures everybody into the center there, and she does beautifully. I'm gonna pop the ability right now, why not? And of course, that, that heal is coming back to haunt me. I can't place my Valkyries just yet though, because I have the, uh, I need that air defense out. So the air defense is out, the Valkyries should head to that Tesla. They do. Perfect. This is going to be beaut. Oh, no. <laughs> they didn't head to the Tesla, but it's okay. Because the, the team in the middle is actually doing some serious work here. And check out these Valkyries, guys. This is going to be a three-star 100%. We're just going to rage them up early. That way they kind of stay full on health or close to. And then we still have some goblins left. We'll just pick around uh, over here. Nothing crazy going on right there. And that is how you take care of a ring base. Of course, not a max ring base, but still, it makes me feel better, like I said, about that kind of botched second raid. But that's it, guys. I mean, that was some good loot, too, uh, relatively speaking. I like to use all my troops just so I don't mess up my next queue of troops. So, uh, yeah, that was... Uh, so uh, not too bad of a raid. The Valkyries going around actually ended up benefiting me. So sometimes you can get like a serendipitous uh, moment like that in these in these raids. But basically, guys, that is it. With my new level five healers, I am loving Super Queen again for a farming strategy. And you can see, I walk away with quite a bit of loot here. 300, 600 for, I don't know, 1.5 million loot. Not too bad. Not too bad. You just keep doing this and having the, the next army ready. And then throughout the day, just log on a few times. Every time you have to go to the bathroom, you guys know how to do it. Uh, so, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you again for hanging in there. I really do appreciate it. want to give a huge YouTube shout out to my YouTube partner, Bren Sean. You can find his information in the description below. Guys, thanks so much for watching, and as always, take care, guys.